What's happening everyone? This is Bill with Think Make Do and this is my master bathroom and we're demolishing it. Okay, um, the reason for this mess is we initially started with the idea that we were going to use tile for the master bath and so we put green board or hardy backer on each side of the wall here where the tiles are going to be enclosed and then we decided to change plans and move to a full bathtub enclosure acrylic uh, formed tub essentially and those are direct to stud installation not to a, not to a concrete board or hardy vacuum installation. So all of this had to come down and the bathtub itself is exactly 60 inches and so we're going to have to build up this wall just a little bit to make sure that the space is exactly 60 inches. There's also some studs that have to be placed exactly where the edge of the tub is for stability. And so we are going to clean up this mess, measure out the tub, figure out where our extra studs need to go for support, and then also drill the waste piping or the, the rough in for the plumbing here so that we can set up for the finished plumbing or the, the P trap that's going to go down here. And um, yeah, let's do that. Alright, so I've marked my rough in. This is the model I'm using, the 434R. And to stop confusing myself with the instructions, I just crossed off the other diagram for the other tubs that this thing is compatible with. There's like a Delta 400A2 right hand drain. So 14 and a half inches to the center line of where the rough in plumbing is going to go, and 10 inches from the wall and it's a eight inch by 10 inch rough and cutout that I need to make. So I'm gonna get my circular saw to make the initial cuts. So I'll probably make the cuts here, here, and here. And then uh, maybe the, recipro recipro bleh, the reciprocating saw to get this edge. Alright, so we have our plumbing kind of roughed in, and we know that we're going to be able to use the access hole that we made earlier. Um, but the length of the plumbing is a little bit off, and the angles are a little bit off. So, um, this pipe that came with our drain kit is just a little too short, right? The depth on this thing I think is 16 and a half, and this is designed to go from 12 to 15. So, we'll have to get an additional pipe. Um, cut one a little bit longer so that works out. Also, this angle needs to be adjusted with this rubber grommet right here. 
and moved around so that the angle here to here is straight. So we'll figure that out and um, hopefully get this thing installed so that we can level the tub flooring and we'll get this thing installed. Alright, you are looking at the master bathroom, the area where the tub is going to go, and we're going to have to do some self-leveling underlayment cement to level off this floor. I think I actually got lucky. That packaging said five, 4.9 to 5.5 liters. I think I put about six liters in just by chance. Uh, I thought it needed a lot more water than it really needed, but the consistency is just how it should be. This is a 17 liter can, I guess. And I was only about a quarter of the way up. So you would normally need like a trolley to move this stuff around, but because it's a limited space, I don't have to worry too much about it. All I'm going to do is actually vacuum this area real quick to get rid of some debris uh, and then I'm just going to pour. Alright, so it pretty much looks pretty good. I'm just going to... That looks like a low spot or... That area is not exactly sealed. I think it's flowing into the underlayment somewhere, but that's okay. Looks like it's level off, leveling off pretty well. I don't know if you can see in this corner, it might... No, nah, it's not going to overflow. I actually pushed enough into that hole there that um, it's not going to be an issue, I don't think. Uh, but just in case, I'm going to make a little moat or a little mountain of putty right here so that this stuff doesn't go over. And I've got plenty left that I'm going to use to level off the guest bathroom a little bit later here tonight. So this needs to set for at least six hours so we're not going to mess with it until uh, tomorrow morning. So it is the next day and our surface leveler is dry. I wouldn't say it's perfectly level, but it's better than it was before. So we are going to remove our uh, guard strips that we put down and then place the tub and see how it fits. If you notice we did a second layer of leveling cement and that's because there was a slope coming down this way that we had to account for. So I added um, some reinforcement here and then built up the second layer. And now that is pretty much right on the money. So I'm going to grab the tub, do a test fit remove this stuff and get to work on building out this side of the wall to encase the tub and get that one taken care of.
today, well actually two and a half days on this master bath renovation of the project. Okay, so if you'll notice in the video, we put trim, I think it's called an L trim, around every corner or edge that meets the tub. And that's because the trim allows us to then get a good about quarter inch gap. We're gonna apply a white caulking. And the caulking will be a better, I guess, transition surface instead of this concrete board directly to this acrylic tub. Now the acrylic tub will flex, right? Expand and contract with the, with the water and as well as usage. And we don't want that to interact directly with a hard uh, concrete board and a material like this mud that's gonna crumble over time. So the caulking in between acts as kind of a buffer surface that can flex with the tub. That's why it's there. Um, we have green board throughout for its water properties. Now, the last thing we have to do here after you know we get to paint and finish and then the caulking is to finish the caulking in between the seams of all of our four parts of our tub. And I need a spoon and some alcohol to make a perfect looking seam. So that's why we're waiting for that. The tile down here, this last strip needs to go in. The reason we haven't done it yet is because when we are installing this tub, um, we didn't know where the tub was going to end. So we only tiled to the surface so that we, as close as we could. Last line will go in, the, the, um, the tile mortar is going to make sure that this thing doesn't move around and then uh, this thing will be set as well. The toilet, we don't have a problem with. We had it installed earlier and we took it out so we could access this entire space. Um, that is the cold water line that needs to be a compression fitting put on and the cold water line hooked to the tank. The sink or the vanity is here. Um, it's not secure, but the some of the plumbing is taken care of. So we have the, the sink, but it needs to connect to the drain. So we're gonna have to set up a P-trap for that. Now that I look at it, it's gonna be a little difficult because the P-trap has to be lower than here. So it's probably gonna scrape the bottom before we get up there. So that'll be a tight fit. May even have to cut a hole in this vanity, unfortunately, to make it work, but you know, that's life. We also kind of got lucky that blue water line, the cold line is just far away enough from this edge that we don't have to break the plywood over there to fit our compression fitting. We'll have just enough space. It's ugly, but we'll be able to clean it up a little bit. Other than that, once the paint goes on, should be good to go. Oh yeah, and a mirror. I have to draw out the dimensions for the mirror and hopefully I can get a rectangular one that goes from the corner here all the way over and then potentially get a medicine cabinet that just surface mounts. It's not gonna be that great, right? Uh, but at least we'll have some additional storage on this side for the tenant. Anyway, that's it for now.